we wanted to um, have a discussion about this order of priorities, really, in London, um, whereby uh, you're allowed to build um, plant and all sorts of equipment on rooftops of industrial buildings throughout the city, but at the same time, uh, it's extremely restricted uh, to use them in other ways. The building, it really extends the, uh, the activities that are happening in the site, in this collection of warehouses. So there's a lot of artist studios and there's events and there's lots of yeah, cultural projects going on. So it's a, it's, it, it's a space to retreat. The project was very unusual in the fact that um, there was no separation between the design process and then the construction. There was no point where we handed over. Um, it was designed in a way to limit the amount of time that we spend on the roof. Um, so we prefabricated the whole thing in the warehouse below uh, and then hoisted up uh, the whole structure in, in, in components, in panels, um, and then assembled those on the roof. So we formed a team of uh, us three um, three very skilled carpenters and then uh, eight students um, for the first two weeks and then there was another a team of, um, of students and volunteers for the, for the second two weeks. So over a month uh, we built the whole thing. The, the cladding is made from um, recycled Tetra Pak uh, and we spent about two months um, trying to persuade various drinks manufacturers in the UK to let us have some um, and it's been diverted from from shredding essentially so it's a waste product. I mean, we would love it if it was in some way a prototype, A, to allow a discussion about how we use our rooftops, um, but B, you know, potentially to encourage or allow other people who perhaps own rooftops to think about how they could use them. Um, and to, yeah, to, start to encourage people to allow access to, to rooftops generally in London, because uh, they're, yeah, the best bit of the city.